Hello world, welcome back to the Razer RC and we got a fun review today. I've got the Hota D6 Plus charger. This is a 300 watt on AC charger or 650 watts on DC charger. Dual ports as you can see. You can charge two batteries at, at a time. Um, this is a smart charger. I don't really know what that means but this is a pretty exciting charger because really this is the big one, 300 watts on AC. That means you do not need an external battery or external uh, power supply or anything like that. You just run this straight off AC, directly plug it into the wall. It's fairly small as you can see, you know, about the size of my hand. And uh, this is highly regarded as uh, one of the best like 6S basher battery chargers out there. It's a little more information. You can discharge at 15 watts each. Uh, externally discharge if I don't know if you have an external discharger I guess you could plug it in but anyways uh, supports all the main you know battery types light lithium high voltage lipo life lithium ion li lix doesn't exist but anyways all the nickel batteries even smart batteries I guess and loop I did not try any of those but yeah this thing is crazy even does 1.6 amps at balanced current so if you're not aware uh, basically these things charge up through the main connector and then once you know some of the cells start getting full it actually charges through the balance connectors you want something halfway decent you know 1.6 amps is actually pretty good uh, on the balance connectors because once you get to those last few cells that you need to charge up um, you're not going through the full you know whatever 15 amps or whatever you're gonna be doing like 1.6 amps as you get towards the end which is pretty nice uh, even has a little USB output on the side here in the back um, so yeah pretty cool little charger and uh, yeah let's kind of talk about it so first thing I want to talk about is what comes in the box and it's basically everything except the cables which really means you just get the charger and an AC cord that's it you will definitely need to get your own balance boards and balance leads here as well as XT60 uh, uh, connectors to some whatever form of battery style connector you use. I run EC5 or IC5, so I've got a little XT60 to IC or EC5 connector. So I did pick those up from Amazon. You know, I'll, I'll put little links in the description below. Uh, but yeah, just want to talk about those are what you're going to need. Uh, it's pretty minimal in the box, um, so that's something to be aware of. And then the charger itself, it's basically got two uh, channels basically you can charge two batteries at a time we'll kind of look into it but this is kind of the main screen zooming in a bit so you, as you can see it's a nice little color display shows you the two channels shows whatever voltage it's currently at how many milliamp hours is put into it and then uh, what type of battery it's is currently set for so basically you just select uh, whichever channel you want for example this one channel one hook up your battery for channel one, it's gonna be the one up top. Plug in your uh, connector as well as the balance lead here. And we're gonna go crazy. We're gonna charge two of these Bashing Pro batteries at a time. As you can see, these are six cell batteries, 6,800 milliamp hours, 120 Cs. These are big boys. I don't know if they make six cell batteries even bigger than this, but we're going to go crazy and charge two of these at the time at the same time. Uh, this one's lost the sleeve, but it is also a 6,800 milliamp hour battery. So going to channel one, you basically just hit OK. And then uh, the funny thing with this is charge basically means balance charge. So if you don't have the balance connector, uh, plugged in it will actually warn you saying you're missing that uh, so charge actually means charge Kind of take a look at all the other ones to so charge discharge external discharge uh, Storage charge is what you normally want to do after you're done running and balance does not mean balance charge balance actually means to, to balance the battery the cells across each other uh, you typically are not going to need to do that unless they're out of balance but what you normally want to do is charge battery type of course you want to pick correctly lipo that's fine 4.2 volts per cell that is normal type of uh, number of cells 22.2 uh, volts which is 6s that's correct and then the charge current and this is where we're going to get a little more interesting so this does 300 watts let's say 150 watts each you're going to have to do a little bit of math here so let's say 150 watts on channel one 150 watts on channel two 
150 watts divided by 25.2 volts, which is what a 6S gets charged to, that's approximately 6 amps. So you're going to be able to charge at close to 6 amps on this thing. Um, I'm going to do 5.5 volts just to be safe. And then you go ahead and start that. You can see the color of the display changes to yellow to show you that it's charging. It shows you all the different cells. They're all fairly evenly balanced right now. You can see the amps going up. We're doing a 4.9, 5.5, 5.5 volts, or 5.5 amps. We're currently at 23 volts. And uh, yeah, well, that's channel one. We're gonna go over to channel two. This one's not uh, being used. Got everything plugged in correctly, and uh, we're gonna go through the same process. Again, you wanna charge 4.2 volts, 6S, 5.5 amps, and crank that bad boy up. So, as you can see, here's channel two. It's kind of funny, the display kind of shows you channel one with just a little bar, and then channel two is the whole thing. And then when you switch back to the other uh, overview, you can see both channels. Um, so what we've got are two channels, 5.5 amps, two 6S batteries. This is a bad beast. Not very many chargers can do two 6S batteries at the same time at 5.5 amps. So you're going to be able to charge, you know, most batteries in under an hour. If you got big batteries like this, it might take you an hour and 15, something like that. But um, yeah, that's really the most impressive thing. And the price of this thing is not particularly high. It's $130, which is fairly inexpensive for... Uh, 300 watt AC charger um, actually if you hook up DC to this you can charge even higher but you know the really nice thing about this is it's compact easy to use nice little color display and fairly inexpensive now things I don't like about the Hoda D6 plus uh, number one does not come with any cables at all you're gonna have to pick them up yourself I think that's a little silly I understand why because you know everyone uses different connectors and stuff so they just rely on you to pick up the right connectors. They don't have to worry about that. But um, yeah, I wish it would come with some cables or at least some balance boards. I mean, everyone needs balance boards, so that would have been nice. And then the second thing I don't like about this battery, uh, I'm sorry, this charger, is that the fan acts a little weird. Um, it kind of goes on and off, especially at around 90 degrees or so. So now that it's charging two 6S batteries at the same time, you can see the fan just kind of continuously running. Um, but yeah, it, it can be a little annoying with the fan. So if you're running like one 2S battery or one 3S battery, it'll, you'll you hear it kind of cycle on and off. It gets a little annoying, but um, that's okay. So uh, yeah, that's what the Hoda D6 Plus looks like. There's really no other features. So it doesn't have any sort of internal resistance uh, checker. It does not have any sort of like uh, memory. So some chargers you can actually program different profiles. So you might have a profile for your 6S, 6800 milliamp. You might have a different profile for like a 5,000 milliamp hour 2S. You know, just different profiles to, to do different things. This is fairly basic. Um, it's got a simple menu, so it's easy to use, but um, you know, obviously uh, is a little more on the basic side. So in my opinion, this is the best like 6S basher charger on the market today for the price, 130 bucks. I don't think it can be beat. Um, it's fairly compact really easy to use, pretty pretty high quality screen as well. The case itself is kind of a sheet metal case, so it's not like a cheap plastic case. It feels pretty good quality. Um, little blue LEDs here on the bottom. The display is super nice. Uh, the buttons are really kind of like touch sensitive or whatever you call it. Um, the screen itself is not a touch screen, but the buttons are really easy to use. So overall, I think this is pretty much the charger to get if you're bashing, if you run like Arma, 6s stuff or 8s stuff whatever you're doing like on the big size basher side i would pick up this the d6 plus be aware that there are different versions they also make a dx i'm sorry a d6 and a d6 pro those are the not the ones that you want those are lower end ones i think earlier versions you want to get the d6 plus it's the most expensive one on the d6 line but it's going to provide you know basically the maximum power the maximum charging capacity uh, for these big boy batteries um, this is what you want to run if you're doing s some bashing with uh, the large scale, A scale, fifth scale, whatever that kind of stuff. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this has quickly become basically my go-to charger for all my bashing. Uh, even on 3S or 2S, you can use this, 4S, whatever. But really where it shines, and for those of you that have uh, big size stuff, I would go with this 
uh, charger. I actually recommend it to my good buddy Alex. He just picked one of these up and uh, is super happy with it as well. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Look for more videos soon. And thanks for watching.